Okay, so this is super impressive. This is Armbian running on a 4 gig Orange Pi 5, the original model, and uh, it's running at 4K60 and it's barely dropping any frames at all. So I've let it play on and it's dropped 85 frames out of 11,000 and really doesn't seem to be noticeable. So watching the video, it just looks really smooth and it looks fine. You can see at the moment I'm playing it on a 1080 because uh, that's what I can capture at. But I'll try it on my 4K TV and see how many frames I drop on that. Okay, so I've plugged it into my 4K TV. So let's have a look and see how well it performs on that. So I found this realistic GTA 5 uh, video and I'm just going to play it on there. You can see it's playing at the moment. And at the moment it's dropped 6, 7 frames out of uh, 1300, 1400. So let's let it play for a bit and see how many frames it drops. But it does look stunning on this OLED. And what's strange is the performance has actually been better on my 4K TV. So if you have a look at this now, so again, it's still looking lovely and smooth, really looks great. And we've only dropped 18 frames out of 11,000. So super, super impressive for this little 4 gig device. And this is all running on Armbian, which is based on Linux and is available for loads of single board computers. And this is thanks to a comment from SRV UK on the subject of Linux YouTube performance, the latest official Ambient 2481 Noble Gnome release for the Orange Pi 5 has almost flawless 4K 60 playback, 8 drop frames from 18,000 and mouse movement not spiking drop frames by the dozen with every slight movement. Firefox also shows the best performance on WebGL Aquarium that I have yet seen for the RK3588. Now, I'm not sure if this means that this is every RK3588. I would have thought they would all act pretty much the same because this is the RK3588S, which is the slightly lesser of the two. The 3588 is more superior, but on main specs, it's very similar. So if we go to the Ambient site and go to their download section, this is an operating system which is all about running Linux on ARM devices and supports loads of different ones. So Banana Pi, Big True Tech, Cadus, even some TV boxes run it. And as you can see, there's loads. And there's even a generic one for like an ARM64 laptop. But the one we want is the Orange Pi one. And it really goes on and on and on. Uh, so Orange Pi, and this is an Orange Pi 5, also supports the 5B. But you can see the 5 Plus, the, even the 5 Pro is supported as well. So if we click on this one and we scroll down a bit. So it talks about Ambient 24.8.1 Noble GNOME. So this is the GNOME desktop environment. So if I press the Windows key, you can see it looks like that. And the announcement is 4K video acceleration within Chromium works only in Jammy Noble GNOME with the kernel 6.1.Y. And there's some instructions for other devices. I didn't have to do anything else. All I did was wrote the image to an SD card with Raspberry Pi Imager and then just put it in the machine and booted it up. And there's instruction for the wireless module. The Orange Pi 5 didn't have Wi-Fi. You had to add a module to it. I haven't. Mine is just running on Ethernet. And so all you do is just click on the direct download and that will download the file. Uh, oh, and also there was um, the comment about Firefox. So we start typing Firefox and launch that. And let's do web GL Aquarium. We've got window snapping with this, so I can just drop, drag it up to the top or to the right or to the left. And it's very responsive. These 3588s are really nice processors. So that's 500 fish, 1000 fish, 60 FPS, 5000. Yeah, it is, it is good. 10,028, so still acceptable at 10,000. Let's go right up to 30,000, just to have a look. Okay, so a bit choppy, which is to be expected, but yeah, that is very, very good performance. So what was the one we had 30 on? 10,000, wasn't it? So let's go back to 10,000. So near to 30, 28 FPS. What we get on Chromium with that? So let's just launch that. And we've got two Chromians. I'm not quite sure why, but I use the first one that comes up. And that was the one I was using for the 4K60. So 10,000. Yeah, so Firefox definitely better than, uh, than the Chromium on that. So what we're getting is 18 compared to 28. 
But if we go back into Chromium and we use the second one this time, which takes a bit longer to launch, but I haven't launched it before. So it could be that. Right, let's paste that in. And then go to 10,000. 23, so that one's better on the WebGL bit, but possibly not as good on video. So they're obviously configured slightly differently and they do have a slightly different tone to them. So this one's more saturated than this one. So let's see how hot this gets, because I've got just a basic fan and heat sink on here. Uh, and I'm gonna see how well it performs running 4K60. So for that, I'm gonna install P sensor. So let's do Control Alt and T to open a terminal and sudo apt install p sensor. Pop your password in. And Ambient just tends to have really good support, so all the apps that I try to install tend to be there. That's all done. Let's just see if Raspberry Pi Imager is there. I think this is what RPI Imager. Yeah, what you find on some rock chip devices that the Linux is just really terribly supported and you go to install things and you just can't, can't find anything. Armbin is really well set up. Same as the custom Ubuntu that I've done a lot of videos on. So if I type in psensor, uh, that will launch that and show us our temperatures. So at the moment it's nice and cool, 34 degrees. And if we, let's just have a look and see if Imager is working normally. Yeah, so if you want to install that image, so you download that image, choose OS, go to Use Custom, and you would go to your download section and find that image you downloaded before. You don't need to unzip it or anything like that. And then all you would do is choose your storage. So, you know, if you've got an SD card in, then that will show up. Click on that and just hit write. Really simple. Don't need to unpack anything. It's the one I use almost all the time. So 35 degrees at the moment. Let's open up Chrome and let's do 10 minutes of 4K60 and just see how much it heats up. Yes, this is a 30 minute video so I can let this play on. So it's been a while. We've got 20 frames dropped at uh, 18,000. And how far are we into the video? So 26 minutes into the video. And if we call up P-Sensor, we can see that, yeah, we're only at 43 degrees. And the maximum it's got to is 48 degrees, so it really hasn't got hot at all. Uh, it's really not straining. And I'm using this ice tower cooler. I've got a separate video on this if you're interested in keeping your Pi 5 cool. And I'm using the, see the red is on the back one here, which, as you can see from the diagram, is 3 volts. If I move it to either of the front two here, that'll be five volts, so I can get the fan to run much faster, but I really don't need to, because it really isn't straining at all. So great work by everybody involved in this. Ambient is a really nice to use operating system with great support and community. Let me know in the comments if you tried it on another RK3588 and you've had similar performance. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.